Hello guys, today I'll be talking about two game maker functions length dir x and length dir y. Uh, to understand this better, let's consider three examples. One is a horizontal gun. Okay, uh, this uh, consider this is a gun. I'll just make the handle of it so that it will be clearer to you. Okay, this is a gun. Now this point is x y, which is basically the origin of the gun and this is where we want the bullet to be spawned how do we find it we just add the distance that is the length of the gun to the x value of the gun x uh, origin of the gun that is x x position of the gun and y position remains the same since this is horizontal when this is vertical since game in game maker uh, the y axis goes to negative when you go up so uh, in this case the x position will be the same uh, this is basically the handle this is the origin and the x position basically remains the same and the y position is reduced by the length of the gun that is d to find this position and here we spawn our bullet at x y minus d now in most platformers when we are making a platformer most of the times we just need a player who holds this is the player sorry for my bad drawing okay we just have a player who holds a gun and shoots uh, horizontally so we don't have any problem because we know that maybe this position may be the origin of the player so we know that okay we can calculate this position without any problem because we know this distance this is going to be constant however in top down shooters it is not like that in top down shooters you have a player and he may be turning to any direction he can turn to basically any direction and has to shoot now we have two things in com constant like uh, what I have drawn here that we have the distance of the nozzle position we know where the nozzle position is visually so we have this distance say D from the origin of the player this is X and Y and then we have the angle of the player that is image angle okay so we have the image angle we have uh, that is the theta the length and the x and y position now if we have these four values then we can find the x and y position of this value th this position x and y coordinates of this position and to know that we have to use length dir x and length dir y length dir x is basically length uh, direction means we have a length and we have a direction at that position we want to find the x and similar for y So we'll see how it is used. Uh, maybe we'll write it down here so it becomes a mo uh, more clearer. Let's see, guns x, G U N X. I'll write. Uh, sorry, bullet x. Dot x is equal to bullet dot x will be equal to x. That is this this positions x coordinate this positions x coordinate will first consider because it is an offset to this position it will depend on this position so this positions x coordinate we have to add x plus 
length dir x now length dir x takes two uh, parameters the first parameter will be length length as i told you so for length will pass this d or maybe we can say gun length okay and the second parameter will be the direction direction is basically the angle of the sprite the angle towards which we want to calculate the distance so that is image angle of the player here image angle of the player is the direction so this way we are going to okay we'll get the x position similarly if we replace this x sorry if we replace this x and this x with y y plus length dir y and these two values will always be the same then we are going to get the y position gun bullets y okay i think it is pl pretty clear uh, clear uh, if there is still some doubt i'll be uh, explaining it in game maker will be going into the game maker software right now uh, so it will be clearer there see what i've done is uh, this is basically the gun instance i have basically two objects here one is the gun it will look something like this simple gun and the second object is the bullet so our aim of this program is to shoot the bullet from the muzzle of the gun muzzle position of the gun so that and that will be a rotated gun as i told you if it is a horizontal or vertical gun it is very simple either we add or subtract the pure x or y position and let the other coordinate be constant means equal to the players that coordinate but the gun will be turned so that we'll have to use length dir x and y now image angle of the gun is 45 degrees celsius uh, sorry 45 degrees i have set here and uh, the okay now here i have used global left pressed why global because we are not going to click on the gun left pressed we have different events here we'll see uh, see this is the normal left press event but it will be called only if we press the left button when the mouse cursor is on the sprite of the object when it is on the object then this function will be called whereas this global mouse function will be called if wherever we pr press the mouse button no matter on some other object no matter uh, whether it be on no object just the screen wherever we press the mouse cursor this will be called so and since we don't want to click on the gun but rather in the direction somewhere away uh, on the enemy or on the screen towards the enemy uh, that's why i have used the global mouse press function so global left pressed now what i have done here is image angle of the gun this is the gun object so whatever uh, whatever parameters uh, sorry whatever variables in built in variables or uh, my own variables in, uh, sorry instance variables i am writing here these are basically the variables that belong to this object the object that i am writing in so image angle means the image angle of the gun and is equal to point direction point direction is basically the dist direction from this point to this point x and y are the x and y position of the gun the origin of the gun basically um, the x and y position of the gun and mouse x and uh, mouse y though i have not written anything here means any added any object name here it still means the global mouse x and mouse y this is these are basically global variables these are already defined as global variables so although it is called as simple mouse x and simple mouse y 
inside this object these still mean the global mouse x and global mouse y that is the position x and y coordinate of the pointer of the mouse at the at this position uh, at this instant now i have created a local variable and assigned it to assigned to it the bullet that we created so now I, our question was where to create the bullet we will be getting it uh, using length dir x and y as i told you before we are creating the instance and instance create takes two uh, three parameters one is the object name whose instance has to be created this is very simple uh, it is the bullet we will be talk uh, explaining the other two parameters the that is the position see it takes x y and object x position y position of the instance and object so the x position of the object that is the bullet will be x that is the x of the gun not of the bullet this is the x of the gun plus length dir x we are going to this will basically the whole thing will basically be the x position of the bullet and this whole thing will basically be the y position of the bullet so the x position of the bullet will be and this is where it will instantiate or create the instance of that bullet object uh, this will basically be x position of the gun plus length dir x that is the x position of the of the point which is this much length to this much direction and how much length sprite width that is the sprite width of the gun since i am calling it in the since i am calling it in the gun gun object sprite width of the gun plus 3 3 i have added so that we can vi uh, means there is a small very small tiny gap between the bullet and the gun when it is created newly so x plus length dir x sprite width plus 3 this is the length and this is the direction that is the image angle image ang angle of the gun similarly y plus uh, the y coordinate of the bullet will be y plus length dir y sprite width plus 3 and image angle comma image angle right now we'll be assigning two properties to the uh, bullet three properties rather bullet dot speed maybe we'll make it two that is two pixels per step bullet dot, dot direction bullet dot direction we will be assigning it to the image angle of the gun because whichever way the gun is pointing the bullet has to move that way and then bullet dot image angle we will be assigning the bullet dot image angle to equal to the image angle of the gun since the bullet will be pointing in the same direction that the gun is pointing towards now we'll just run it okay I clicked here the gun to turn towards me I'm sorry the mouse the gun turned towards the mouse and is shooting the bullet towards the mouse exactly as we expected the bullet is being created just near the nozzle as we uh, talked before see it is going so beautifully this is very important in a top-down shooter length dir x and y can also be used in uh, many other places uh, but it is mostly used in top-down shooter games when you want to shoot a bullet from the muzzle of the gun now I'll just want you to note down one thing that whenever we are using length dir x at 99.5% of the chance uh, chances are there we'll be using 
length dir y along with it so length dir x and y are used mostly at in the same place means they will always be nearly always be used together because this will give the x coordinate of the position and this will give the y coordinate of the position so we need the position we need both the coordinates so this these both of these will be used uh, at the same position means uh, always most of the times they will be used in the same place and when we are uh, finding a position the positions parameters means uh, when we are uh, using finding a position when you, we are using length dir x its length and direction values will always be similar to the length and direction values given for length dir y of the same point okay hope i am clear here thanks a lot for watching please subscribe and like